I, uh, yeah, about aliens, I do believe, I believe in them, I'm not that, in my opinion, this is my opinion, is that if you don't believe in them, or at least are able to think that possibly, you know, not to totally believe in them, I think you're fooling, you're fooling yourself, because, I mean, it's ridiculous thinking that we are the only intelligent beings, and I mean, I'm using the intelligent very loosely on that because from what I've seen a lot of people uh, they make the human race look bad water's up, water's up yeah but yeah, then get back to what I was saying about my encounters and this started back, oh, what was it in uh, Late, late, late 80s, I think 89, 88, 89. All three here, was Sharon, stole Sharon steel, and uh, I used to see lights at night. Red lights, especially, like little balls. And they wouldn't, re they, they wouldn't illuminate anything but themselves, I mean, it would be just a glowing ball. And they would actually go to the one building and stop then disappear and I'll show you that I'll, I'll come down and show you that one building in the daylight and maybe later on if I can get to it we'll get, we'll get to it in the night time yeah I mean I do I believe in aliens I do. I really do. I, am I scared of them? Yeah. After last last summer? Yeah. Uh huh. I don't like messing with anything close to it. I mean, it, it's just. I mean, after I've seen your best friend just disappear, and then, and then I want one of your best friends to say, and then he, did he just all of a sudden he was like there, and he was like totally white. His eyes are huge. Similar to the face like this, and I'll put the picture up. Then, uh, and, uh, I mean, all I could say was, I was probed, I was probed, I was probed. And uh, I asked him, where? And he said, in the hiney, in the hiney. I liked it. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. And I, didn't, I didn't really realize that he was that way. But yeah, it was, it was a horrible thing. I think he was more excited than he was horrified, to be honest with you. And then, of course, I tried to back myself off away from him as much as possible after that. I, mean, I like him and everything. He's a great guy and everything, but right there, that building right there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. Yeah, it was right back through here. Maybe you can see it through the builds, buildings here. No, no, it's blocked, being blocked off. That would be staying on top of the hill over here to the left. And you see this ball of light, red ball of light. Kind of, uh, Back then, I mean, I thought it was, I was young, and I thought, like, well, this is kind of cool, and I had experiences with aliens in the past. Do you well, know what it, what it, what it, what it was in the, the back then? Well, I'm thinking more and more it was aliens. I think they're using that particular building as like a repair hangar, or maybe doing they're doing some testing on something in there or something. Every now and then you'll hear noises coming out of there, and it's all it's well guarded. It's got. And not just one round of um, bar bar fencing, it's got three. And uh, it's the police have it to where you, I mean, it's hard to even get. All you see is, all you can do is close enough to see the building. You cannot get to it close enough. I mean, to look in it or anything. You know, police running, running off. not a good thing which I mean 
And this is right down the bottom of the hill for me. But I mean, that's my thing about alien. And, uh, I'll see if I can get that um, a video of that next couple of nights. The red light. I mean, it's like a round red light ball, like almost. It really doesn't show on anything on the ground either. It doesn't project the light, you know. It's like, but it's red. I mean, it's insane.